Hey everybody, it's Tanya at Hummingbird Paintery. Tonight we are going to make a little snowman. Uh, this isn't going to take too long tonight, so if you're doing things with your family, you'll be able to get to them quickly um, after watching this. If you are watching later on replay, then please hashtag replay and uh, you can come back anytime if you want to. If you're not able to stay tonight, that's fine. Um, so hopefully y'all have had a good Friday. Um, I had a pretty good Friday. I went, hey there, how are you doing, <clears throat> Miss Grace? So um, hopefully you've had a good Friday. I went and got gas earlier because I really don't want to get out this weekend. Um, I've got to only get out Sunday so I can take all the packages to the mailbox. Thank you for spreading the blessings. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. So I cut this out the other night. Um, I showed it on on my uh, page. Um, I just cut this out myself uh, for a snowman. I think I'm gonna put a base on it, but I'm not gonna do that tonight on the live because I like to screw a piece up, up, up in there so um, it can just stand straight up. Hey, Miss Linda, how are you doing? Hopefully you're having a good day. Hey, Miss Bonnie, thank you for coming on. So hopefully you'll be able to see this and do something. Um, I just thought it was cute uh, just to do it. I'm going to do a Waverly plaster instead of a white paint. This is the nose. I cut it out of a piece of the same kind of stuff, uh, but this one was an old fence board. This one is a piece of, I don't know what you want to call that. Hey, Miss Vicki, it's just one of my scrap pieces of wood out there, but it is about this size right here at the big one, so I almost didn't have enough room. You're seeing a black screen? Oh, my goodness. Well, I see myself, so I don't think it's on my end, but you never know with Facebook. It's good to see you, Miss Vicki. Thank you for coming on here. I've also got these little eyes they have screw-in uh, eyes. It's better now, Miss Jerry. Well, that's good. Good grief. So you came out, went out, and came back in, and it was better. So um, I don't know how Facebook's been doing today, so who knows? <laughs> good there? Okay. So um, I've got these little eyes. I've got different color, not colors, but different um, shapes, different sizes, I mean. Um, these are fairly big eyes. I've got some that are smaller, and these are eyes for, I guess, crocheted items or whatever that you can just poke this in the material. I'm going to take the back of it off, which is that little point right there, and then we'll put it and glue it on there. Because I do want it to be a 3D effect instead of just painting. Thank you for painting the page, Miss Dreama. Hope you're feeling and sounding much better. I am sounding much better. Um, for the most part, I got my voice back. I do have some drainage still, a little lingering cough from the drainage. But other than that, I'm feeling pretty good. I just hope all that stuff comes on out because I'm tired of it. Um, I know some people have been sick, like Elizabeth. <clears throat> all right, we are going to use these, and we're going to use... Uh, the mini pine sticks are picked from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to try to use a couple of these and just put one of these on top of it. I might do two of them, and we might put one down here at the bottom. So, I will open this a little bit later. And I've also got some rub and buff. This is silver, and I kind of wanted to put it on the edge a little bit, but I may just sand it down. I'm not sure exactly. So, we're just going to go ahead and take our plaster, and we are going to uh, paint this. And I like the way the wood is anyway. It's a pretty one, a pretty piece. So, I kind of want to just take a sander. I might do that instead of the rub and buff, because I don't think silver really goes well with this, uh, this particular plaster color. And it'll show some of the natural wood underneath if I do sand it off. So we'll just take a little bit of the sanding and get that off of there. Just on the side, a little bit. <clears throat> I don't have any of the, um, what do you call that? Um, 
I can't remember the name of it, but where you can take it off. Vaseline. I don't have any Vaseline. That's what I was going to see. Hey, Michelle. Thank you. Hopefully, you're having a good day today. Has anybody done anything fun? And this is an old palette. You can still see one of the nails right there. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to take this and we're going to go ahead and do the sides and the back. Did anybody do anything fun? I won't take up too much of your time tonight. I know everybody's time is valuable lately. Christmas got here really fast. Um, I know we've got a couple weeks late or a couple weeks more, but um, it just went by so fast. I'm not even prepared or anything. Are y'all ready? Is everybody ready for Christmas? No, went to the doctors. Oh, a pinched nerve. Goodness. Well, I hope you feel better. Hope they fixed you up. Hey, Terry. It's okay. I only just started. All right. So let me dry this part and then we'll do the back. I'm just going to let it sit there so I can kind of put a little bit more on here like this. All right. Now let's dry this. Nowhere near ready. Yeah, I, this kind of crept up on me this year. Thank you so much for sprinkling me out. Hey, Melissa, how are you doing? Hadn't seen you in a while. I'm glad to see you here. Changing sheets on the bed. I did that last weekend because I wanted to get all that sickness away. That's for sure. All right, we're gonna dry this and then we'll do the back of it and then turn it over. I probably will get a piece of a block of wood or something for the bottom. And then um, I will drill a hole through the bottom and have it uh, stand up because it doesn't stand real well. It's probably, I didn't get it flat enough on the bottom so I'm just going to do it this way. If we have to do the front again, we can. So I'm just going to do this. I appreciate everybody for sprinkling me out. I appreciate that. And then we'll dry this and then we'll turn it back over again. But it's just a piece of extra wood that I had out there. There's a, a lady that I get my pallet wood from, and I haven't gotten any in a while because I still have a good bit out there. Some of them are better than others, but I've had people go to that place. Hey, Billy Joe, how are you doing? Surgery went well and recovery has been so smooth. Well, I am so glad to hear that, Melissa. I was wondering how you were. I've seen you on a couple of pages when I've been on there. So I'm glad you're better. <laughs> it doesn't matter if the back, since I'm going to be putting it on a board and screwing it to that, then um, the back doesn't have to have a perfect coat on it or anything. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. I think we got it dry. Let's see. And the front's still good too. Let me dry this little bitty bit right here. And this is about a foot tall, I guess. Ooh, bronchitis. And a bad sinus infection. I'm so sorry. So sorry about that. All right, this one is actually prettier. It looks like old wood, but it's just one of my fence boards that I took off, and I just cut that little piece out of it. I do have some orange, and I'm just going to kind of put a little bit of orange on top of that, um, but I kind of like it brownish, but we want it to look like a carrot, so I'm going to put a little bit on there. That's sweet of you to give prayers, Miss Terry. All right, let me get rid of this creamy color. And put this up. 
keep that out of there. We don't have all that. I forgot to take a picture at work, but I did paint a Christmas, um, not really a theme, but just a Santa Claus on the pediatric uh, door that's right beside us. It's a pediatric uh, cardiology group. And um, I did make that, but I forgot to take a picture of it. I was trying to hurry up. Now, I'm going to do the sides right here because that's going to take more of this actual orange and this side doesn't as much because it's kind of rough and this is kind of the way I want it anyway. I'm just taking a little bit of the orange and putting it on there just to make it look orange but I like the brownish or grayish kind of looking through. It's not really going to be too much. See like that? I kind of like it like that. Even starting to watch again. Purposely did not want to bug you with a bunch of medical questions. It's okay, Melissa. You know you can ask me anything. I'll be glad to to answer anything you have. If I know the answer or I can get the answer. Try to remember to remind me. Okay, try to remember to remind me then. That's for sure. Let me get a um, piece of piece of this so we can try to sand some of this off because I want it to be cute and I want it to look kind of old. I want the, the wood to come through underneath on the edges and today my um, handyman Travis came over. Hey Miss Deborah, and he um Helped me to change my blade on my sand, I mean my sander, and the blade on my big saw, the one that cut my hand. He he changed the blade for me, so hopefully I'm not gonna cut myself again. But it's got a nice new blade on it, so that's not really good, I guess. But I needed it. I had been using it for a long time. Try to. I'm going to be very careful from now, from now on, ever since I did that. Because <clears throat> it cut a chunk. And I still don't have all the feeling in my finger. Not on the tip of it. Alright, so I've kind of got it on the edge. You can't really see too much, but it is showing some of the wood through. I won't cut myself again. and I've been a little bit more careful, but I think because it's a dull blade, it'll jump a little bit. And so I really needed to change the blade, which sounds like it's worse to do it that way, but I really needed it. I'm going to try to go inside just a little bit so you can see it a little more. And then we're just going to try to rub a little bit of it off. Shirley, how are you doing today? Thank you for coming on. I won't cut myself again. I'm trying to be more mindful of it. It really jumped and then it got my finger. I thought that I was going to pass out though. I think it's just the thought of it. Hey Linda, how are you doing? You having a good day? I hope so. Oh, this isn't coming off too easy. We'll have to use some um, soap and water, but I think I'm okay. It's not going to get on my shirt. Maybe not. <laughs> All right, so I did take it, and you can kind of see right here on the edge that um, I got some of it sanded off so it looks better. From Rhode Island, hey, Cynthia, thank you for coming on here. I hope you enjoy everything. Let me put this down just a tad so y'all can see a little bit better. All right, so we're going to paint this also, and I want to do it with the Waverly as well. Hey, Tammy Johnson, how are you doing? All right, let's see. We're just going to do it here on one side. It doesn't really matter. And I kind of 
want to stain it a little bit on top of this just so it looks like an old snowflake. Thank you so much. Miss Connie got this sweatshirt for me. It was so kind of her. It's one of them from Beware. It says Merry Christmas with some Christmas balls on it. If you haven't bought anything from Beware Sportswear and you like sweatshirts and shirts, they've got some other stuff too. I'm doing well, Miss Tammy. Thank you for coming on here. Um, then you can get 15% off if you decide to buy some. So they are um, Hummingbird 15 is the, the code. So you can get 15% off. All right, let me see here. I'm going to use a little bit of this. This is ink, though. Where is the other one? Maybe I need to get some brown or something. Or maybe I can use the orange. We'll just use the orange. I'm going to do it a little different. It won't look old, but it'll look like it's got orange on there. So we're just going to do a little. I don't want it to be orange, but we want it just to have a little something. I don't see the stain. I don't know what I did with it. I probably took it. Look, here it is. That's okay. You bought two shirts last night? I want to buy some more, but I might wait until Valentine's Day. I did buy some for Christmas and some of the fall. They have really cute stuff for the fall. Now, I'm going to take these two little little eyes right here and we're going to take this bottom off so i'm just going to get very close to the end of it right here and we're going to take this off but you do have to put your hand over it because it will flip off somewhere we'll watch replay it's okay i'm so sorry you're having a headache feel better billy joe and don't put your finger too close now see, those two little pieces came off, so we're just going to throw those away. I don't feel like we're going to need those, but it made it flat, so you can put the eyes on here. So we're just going to kind of put this right here like that for the nose. And I'm just going to take a little bit of the glue gel that I always use, and we're going to use some hot glue as well, just to make sure that it stays. So I've got it upside down there so I can put a little bit of both. And then we're just going to put some of this on either side. You don't want to put too much. <clears throat> and then I kind of just want to do it up like this a little bit. And we'll just hold it for a second. Yes, the auction is tomorrow on the 10th at 5 p.m. Central. So if anybody's interested in bidding on anything that's behind me, um, and I've got some other things there on the table in the dining room. That's where I usually do that. It's okay, Miss um, Tony. Hey, Miss Pat. And hey, Lori. How are you doing? That's a cute little picture. I can't get things to do like that. Wonder why. Whenever I try to do it. Alright, so I've got my two little eyes right here. And we're going to put them up above the nose. So I'm just going to use a little bit of this glue. And I'm going to put a little bit of the other glue as well. The gel. Hey, Danielle. How are you doing? It's okay. I might have to take a little bit of that off. Let me take this little stick. I got too much there. Hey, Miss Janet. How are you doing? Yeah, I didn't put as much on this one. So I kind of got a little bit too much glue on there. <coughs> Let me see if I can get some of it off. It's not too bad. Got one little smidge on there. I'll get it off. So don't get too much of the glue on there because that's what happens. Is that it goes underneath. But here we go. 
<laughs> it's great. It's Friday. Isn't that the truth, Miss Janet? For sure. All right, so we're going to open up this pack right here. And these little picks have several on it, but we're going to cut them just like this because I don't think we need the whole thing. I just want a couple of these little pieces and we'll put a few of them on there and glue them to it. So I'm just going to take this and take a couple pieces off. Let's just see what it does. That's not as easy as it looks. Maybe I only need a scissors. <clears throat> okay, so that came off. So I'm just going to put a few pieces up here, and I think I'm just going to use the glue, the hot, hot glue, and let's just see what it does by itself. We're going to put one here. We probably need some berries, but I don't have any berries in here, but we're going to put this little snowflake on the top of it, and we'll do that. And this has got some snow kind of built into it like that. Kind of looks like dandruff from here. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Just a little greenery. This is pretty good greenery. I like it. So we're just going to use it. We want to put two or three of them at least. I might put four. This is pretty good. It kind of looks like real greenery. <coughs> I like it. Let's see. I want to put this right here. And then put one at the bottom. Right in here. I might put one more. It kind of looks like it needs one down this way. So we're just going to pinch this one off. The faces are something new. I know. It's kind of cool. You can change it back to regular hearts. If you don't like the faces. Hey, Miss Debbie. How are you doing? Alright. So now I have this right here. It probably needs a little bead of sort on there, but I don't have that. And I have some half beads, actually. But we're just going to put this little snowflake here. Let me see if it'll fit. If I put this right in between there, it'll probably fit right in the middle. I am feeling better. Thank you, Miss Debbie, for asking. I'm going to put a little dot right here on either end. Let's just see if it'll hold better, because it's not, this is flat, but this is not. We're going to put it kind of right there crooked, and I'm just going to push it down on there. Hey, Miss Germaine, thank you. You just noticed the faces, aren't they cute? And I think I want to do this one, but I might leave it just the brown, kind of the the way the wood is. I kind of like that. I'm going to put one at the bottom. Let's just see how it works. And these are really light, so I don't feel like that, that it's going to need anything else. But I just want to put one right there. And that looks like it's going to stay. And then what I'll do is put a piece of wood under here, and I'm going to screw it up through the bottom. That way it'll stay all there. <laughs> I sound a lot better. Yeah, I don't see any faces on there, just the regular kind. Thank you for those hearts, though. I appreciate that. Super cute. You like him? I kind of want to make a little um, eyebrow on there, so I think I'm going to uh, do that real quick, because it looks like it needs a little something. Let me get a little bitty dab of black on my paper plate here, if I can get it to drop. <clears throat> there we go. And we'll get this little brush, and then we're just going to make, I'm going to take a pointy brush, And then we're just going to do it this way. It's 
It's not perfect. <laughs> but I just think it'd give him a little character. Hey, Danielle. Thank you for the hearts. I appreciate it. And you too, Michelle. Thank you so much. So y'all need to get some of these if they if you don't have them at your store. Maybe you can find them at a different store. But these are from Dollar Tree. And so are these. And then, of course, I cut it out. But you can always do this with uh, cardboard instead of wood. Y'all just know I'm, I'm the wood girl. I love to do things with wood. So tomorrow at 5 Central um, p.m., we will be doing the auction, and I will be auctioning off some of these things in the back. Is there anybody anybody that wants to see anything up close or anything like that that you are interested in? I do have stuff that's on the... Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Miss Linda. Thank you, Miss Germaine. Thank you, Miss Terry. Um, but y'all can come back tomorrow... Miss Terry, are you going to be able to help me tomorrow night with the stop and all that? Thank you for the hearts. I appreciate it. I guess I could put it up some so I don't have to lean over. There we go. So, um, thank you, Miss Deborah. I appreciate it. Yes, 5 p.m. Central for the auction tomorrow night. And I got to get everything. Okay, can't thank you. Thank you, Miss Terry. I appreciate it. But I'll finish this and put a board on the end of it, and then y'all will see it finished. Um, this can be up for auction, too. It doesn't matter. Thank you for the hearts. You give everything you make have such character. I try to do it with a little character. He just needed like, needed a little bit of something. And we could probably do a mouth, too. I didn't think about a mouth. Do y'all think he needs a mouth? Or that he needs to just be this way? <laughs> I don't know if he really needs... We could make him just mm, like that. <laughs> Thank you for the hearts. And Sunday... Does it stand... He's, he's not... Well... See, I don't think that I made it straight enough right here, or it would stand probably on its own. Oh, it did. Look. <gasps> don't breathe on it. A mouth and arms. You think I need arms on him? He needs a mouth. Okay, let me get the brush. He has enough nose that he doesn't need a mouth. That's what I thought. But maybe I can do just a little bitty something. Let's see. This is what I'm going to do. Let me make it a little bit thicker. So you can see it. <laughs> there he is. He's got a little bit of something. <laughs> Y'all are so used to me finishing it out. Thank you, Tony. Let's see. I'm going to try to give him a little bit of cheek. Let's see. Let's see. And this one a little bit over here. <laughs> a little bit up here and a little underneath. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> you bring something. Thank you, Maria. You bring your guys to life. I do sometimes. Ooh, Lord, I thought that was falling. Thank you, Miss Roberta. So now he's got a little more character with some cheeks and stuff. That just gives him a little something. <laughs> Perfect. I didn't want to overdo him because his nose is pretty big. <laughs> He's got a big carrot nose. And we could put a little um, snow on there. We could put 
you know, buttons on there as well. But I think I like him with just these. He has personality. I think so, too. I like him. He's cute. All right. Well, I'm going to let everybody get back to their family or watching TV or whatever you are doing tonight. I am going to try to find find some boxes for everything so I can have everything ready and hopefully um, get the shipping cost um, on there so I'll know how much to start a bid at. It's perfect just the way it is. Thank you, Miss Patty. I'm trying to get that glue off a little bit, but I'll finish it and put, um, put a board on the bottom so he'll stand good. And I will see y'all tomorrow night at 5 p.m. Central for anybody that's interested in the auction, okay? And I will post a couple times so to remind you. But I will see y'all then, and y'all have a good Friday evening, and I'll see you tomorrow night at 5 p.m. Central. Bye-bye. Thanks, Miss Linda.